<laughs> Look at that picture. Beautiful. I don't know about the window straight out to space. I hope there's like a curtain you can draw. I don't know, I would be a little bit nervous looking straight into empty space. I don't know, that's both enticing and scary. Can I interact with my PC? No. Hello? I got an email from Miyuki. I wonder what it is. What it is. How you doing? Thank you for the MWS, the weapon you use in your left hand during the battle. Data from the test we ran alongside Cosmos and the Encephalon. I moved one step forward with my magnificent, magnificent plans, T thanks to you. Now the only thing I need is a real test. So I have uh, sent you a real MWS, it should reach you soon. Then if the nose is stack, they're so dead. Doing these tests provide a bit of aerobic exercise, it may even have some weight loss effects. So in a way, it's like you're killing two birds with one stone. Please make sure you pick it up when it arrives. Uh, Miyuki P as I lost three kilograms. You see, it's just like I said. The apple diet really works. The apple diet? Is that like a uh, magnificent plan? What in the world is that girl planning? Apple diet, is that where you eat only apples? Sort of like uh, Jordan Peterson's old beef diet? Which... <laughs> I, I, I don't know about that. He, he says it works. And like... It helps with autoimmune diseases for like him and his daughter. Seems a bit crazy to me to only eat beef. I'm gonna press this button now. <laughs> can't scare, can't surprise me. Stop picking on me, I can't take it, mama. <sighs> Fuck. Sorry, man. Who was this? Some sort of decoration. Oh, Mizuzuki. Do you know anything about the Gnosis? Not really, tell me. Did you know the Gnosis can appear anywhere and everywhere, even in space or inside a ship? That's scary. Just thinking about it makes me so scared. I can't sleep. I haven't gotten decent sleep ever since I got assigned on this ship. Some of my colleagues still don't believe it, and those that do are so frightened they can't do anything. I wonder what they really are. Are they really just the mili- uh, like the military video says? Or are there Starship Troopers videos? Fucking, I'm doing my part. But with Gnosis popping out... Out of the fucking walls or whatever. You look like you wanna talk to me. Sorry, but you won't be able to go this way for a while. Oh, I see. Very sorry, but that door is not open to traffic right now. This damn annoying old crane started acting up until maintenance is finished. No one is allowed to even walk by here. Please don't touch anything. This uh, thing might throw its entire load if someone presses the wrong switch. Don't mean to sound like a broken record. Ah, fuck. I wanted to push the button and see what would happen. Yeah. They're not letting me through. I wonder if my mic is picking up those fucking dogs outside that are being very loud. So I guess I go down here and then to the left. Or port, I guess. I don't know how the map is oriented, if, it's, if the front of the ship is... Uh, straight up, probably. 
That's how I would do it at least. Cutscene. Every door. Hello, you rang? My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy too, after all. So, what's the problem today? Well, I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. But the integration mm. is not going very smoothly. You're right. Rejected. He's rejecting the data. Are you pushing battle strategies straight into their brains? Let's see, I just need to check the realians lying on the maintenance beds, right? Yes, thank you for your help. How is that? It's just an temporary fix, though. Yes, I cannot express it appropriately, but I feel like some weight has been lifted. Everything feels a bit brighter. Thank you very much. The world looks brighter to you, then you're fine. This is, this is low key kind of creepy. I don't know what's up with these boys. A full time counselor do the servicing before we left port. Unfortunately, when it's a long tour and we only have maintenance beds, problems always crop up. Long missions are stressful for us too. Besides, these guys were just born, so it's not surprising. What do you mean they were just born? Place a request for a counselor, but I was denied due to chronic shortages of manpower. Are these like vat grown clone soldiers or something? Should do well, and this is this no. Combat models. So even our training causes heavy wear and tear. Regular tune-ups like this are very much appreciated. No, no, no. I didn't really do much. Are these? I wish you guys didn't have to fight. You're very kind, but I was developed for combat. To deny combat is to deny my very existence. You're right. I'm sorry if I said anything that confused you. So what are these? If Cosmos is a big deal, then these can't possibly be androids, right? Oh, this is weird. Oh, look, it's like the fucking Assassin's Creed 1 bed. Um, I'm curious what these are. Realians. Nothing seems particularly unusual. Are you not feeling well? I've been studying fables and proverbs, but I'm unable to use them properly and I'm always being laughed at. Hmm, but your linguistic center doesn't seem to have any abnormalities. See, I must be just thinking too much. They do say better safe than curry. So I figured I had nothing to lose in being overly cautious. Say, so do you know any other proverbs? Others? Casting food before swine, adding insult to perjury, <laughs> roast meat prey upon the meal? Where did you learn those? Soldier knowledgeable in Proverbs taught them. Uh, told me, is there something wrong with me after all? Well, first I think you should change teachers. Okay. I wanted to know more good Proverbs. There we go. Can't just walk away from discussions like in senior years. This one's a lady type. Some, th some like counseling, they seem to have no problems at first glance, but errors show up when we try to install new software. New software? Are they robots? That's because their compensators, compensator programs make it seem like you're getting through to them. But if you examine more closely, errors start showing up in their subconscious. In other words, they s the stress eventually gets to them. Basically, they're the same as infants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the head twist. Okay, your values are stable. I don't see any particular problem. Understood, then I will return to do this. Wait a minute, I think you uh, could express a bit more joy. Maybe more your maybe your emotional expression isn't working right. I am a realian developed for combat. Believe such uh, fluctuations of emotions are unnecessary for my duties. Okay, 2B, slow down. You know the phrase, thank you? It's the first step in communicating. Uh, do you understand? Understood. Thank you. I don't know. It just seems like good old autism to me. Uh, that's how I would talk. 
if I wasn't <laughs> masking or whatever the kids call it these days. Shared Vector, you must have a much larger, more sophisticated uh, tuning department. In the army, the rallyants are becoming a more vital part of the force, but we are still way behind when it comes to maintenance and tuning. Hello. Lately, I find functional impediments occurring when communicating with a certain person. My pulse becomes rapid, perspiration increases, and I am unable to articulate well. Okay, I know exactly what you're talking about, but what the fuck are you? Are you biological? That's odd. Wonder if it's an OS bug. Doesn't hinder you in your normal duties? No, as long as I do not come in contact with that person, the abnormalities seem, do not seem to appear. Is that person spreading a virus or something? So who is this person? Alan. Oh. Alan? Yes, I feel lightheaded whenever I see Alan. I become confused and embarrassed. Become unable to converse normally. Hmm, you have some interesting symptoms. I see she has a crush on Alan. So you do understand at least, Xion. What was wrong? Your brain waves seem to be chaotic. Ever since I was assigned to the Voglinda, I haven't been the same. I've slowly lost mental composure and my body has begun to manifest mini spasms. Uh, could it be fear? Fear of fighting? I was developed for combat, how could that be? It's okay, don't worry about it. There's nothing wrong with you. The emotion called fear is natural to all living things. So I guess these are living things then. Reality and time for combat, feeling fear. Even the greatest, strongest soldier feels fear and terror. To conquer your fears is a key to becoming stronger. But I am a Realian. That doesn't m matter. You're the same as us humans. You just happen to be born differently, that's all. That suggests to me... Okay. Casting time. Well, I've made some adjustments, but please contact 3rd Division once we return. I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. I'll be sure to do so. You know, I'm really impressed. Providing Realian psych support on top of developing Cosmos? I hear even specialized counselors have a hard time. Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor taught me. I'm That's glad I could be of help. weird. Besides, I always wanted to work in the third division. Actually, I'm thinking about requesting a transfer once my current work's finished. The third division. The first R and D division has the best researchers in the organization. Everyone knows not just anyone can get in there. Are you sure that you want to transfer? Oh yes. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the first division? There must have been a mistake in the paper. Wow, well, supportive. Who knows? Maybe they're right. Besides. I want to learn so much more about them. What's learning about them going to do for you? Uh oh, <laughs> Virgil! Are you Baron Harkonnen? Or Har Harkonnen. Oh no, he's not sniffing them because he likes it. Listen to this music. Oh, they even do the. It makes me sick to my stomach. Huh? What are you? That's enough. You got your orders from the lieutenant commander, didn't you? One of the goals of this operation is to enhance This music is super cool. The eggs and the new model realians. Oh, how do you say it? Support. Huh. In a battle against them, the last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested weapons grade realians. Um Excuse me, but these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people you're treating equipment like people. Ooh, let's go. Let, let, let's hear it. Say things like that. These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. A 
And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of Realians when it was ratified in 4763. 4763? What a load of crap. I thought we were 400 Get years in the future. Soapbox. You act noble and preach about humanity, but in the end, they're just equipment as far as your company's concerned. Or maybe more like merchandise. Merchandise. Anything like equipment or merchandise. Then why do you categorize them as weapons grade realians? How much more evidence do you need than that? He's got a point. Whatever you care to call them, they're nothing but tools of warfare. Besides, I know your little secret. You guys have an emergency override code to control them, don't you? Uh. Virgil! Why are you... Huh? What do you want? It is as you say, sir. We are manufactured as merchandise and raised accordingly. However, I take great pride in what I do now. And this pride was not forced upon me. It is of my own free will. Interesting. Oh, he's not buying that for a second. Or are you actually sick? Free will, huh? Well, good for you. You'd better just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. This character is interesting. Look at look at his booty with the with the pockets. DME I don't want to talk Then Virgil really takes me off He doesn't do any work and he just hangs around here Talking like a big shot hmm. yeah, 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 I got it, got it Sorry, don't let what the little Santa said bother you. It's true, follow any orders, fight the enemy, we do not think for, of ourselves as tools. Sacrifice is to preserve that honor, but that kind of life is a bit sad. Will everyone have new dialogue? I don't think I could get myself to like Lieutenant Virgil very much. Here is quite influential among those in his unit. Ill weeds grow a maze, they say. <laughs> okay, that's it. Next time I come by, I'm bringing you a proper proverb dictionary. I don't think I... Uh, Ill weeds grow a mace. What is this emergency override code for the Realians? I'm sorry. It's classified information that only a handful of people know, even at HQ, so I'm afraid I can't tell you. Really? Aw. Oh. Secret code that only Vector's developers know. Hmm, I, uh, I want to know. I ask a question, please go ahead. Do you hate Lieutenant Virgil? What? Well, I just met him. But he, the way he thinks is a little... Lieutenant Virgil is an excellent soldier. I believe he thinks of us as objects because of his excellence. That might be true, but I don't like such a heartless way of thinking. Sorry, I'm not yet able to comprehend that emotion. Human emotions are very difficult, I still do not understand them well. See, she, she's li just a little autistic. That, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Body seems to manifest a particular response to Lieutenant Virgil, too. Do you get short of breath and become unable to talk? No, my stomach feels nauseous and my spine feels tingly. Oh, don't worry about that. I feel the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Lieutenant Virgil is definitely a skilled soldier. But he doesn't take good care of realians. He won't hesitate to use them as shields or abandon them in battle. Apparently something happened in the past, yeah. Ever since then he's become he's come to hate realians, I hear. Even if that were the truth, I still can't forgive his actions. Yurusane What's wrong? You're trembling. I am feeling fear. When I heard what Lieutenant Virgil said, my body began to shake and I cannot control it. I understand clearly what Lieutenant Virgil said, but my body seems to be rejecting it. Interesting. 
Okay, don't worry, you're not a disposable tool. I won't let anyone treat you that way. Thank you. And there's gonna be a lot of talking if everyone's always gonna be refreshing dialogue like this. I don't think I talked to you again. Okay, it looks good now, but be careful, it's just a temporary fix. You alright, Miss Suzuki? Mm, why? Because Lieutenant Virgil just... Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Cause you pain, I'm sorry. And with all of you guys' tools, your feelings are very clear to us. That's very interesting, all of that. So they're not... My apologies, Ms. Uzuki. He wasn't always like that. But then, something happened. Yeah? Is he an old acquaintance? We were classmates at the military academy. And I've been stuck with him since then. It was Milsha. Milsha. I see. So, that's why. You knew about that, huh? Then again, anyone planning to join the 3rd Division would know. Well, I... I'm from Milsha. Huh? A place? Of course, no one's allowed to go there anymore. My family moved to Second Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. Hmm. And my brother still lives there alone. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring back painful memories. Oh, it's all right. After all, it's something we must never forget about. For our sake and theirs as well. Want to tell us about it? Report to the bridge. Sorry, I'll come back to check on them later. Bye. Fucking little tip of taps before she gets going. Some of the soldiers were drafted unexpectedly, so the troop formation is not quite up to par. If the nose has attacked us now, I don't know if we could fight them head on. Okay. Some people refresh, some people don't. Or like, some people have two lines. Factory employees are all such polite, friendly people. I was under the impression that researchers were all uptight, so I was a little surprised. Hmm. I wonder what this place is. A container doesn't belong here. Take it to block three. What are you doing? Take all that ammo to the AGWS hangar. He said it's some way. Agus or something. Hi, Shion. You're looking cute as usual, says Holgar. Hello, Mr. Holgar. Hey, now, quit with the formalities. Call me Mr. Driller. The driller, did you say? I'm really skilled at using the drill crane. So much so, I wish the drill council would acknowledge it. Of course, Susumi Hori and I are equals when it comes to drilling. Don't even confuse me for a run of the mill drill worker, Mr. Holgar. Mr. Hol I mean, Mr. Driller? What is it, she? Goddamn. To get going. Ah, it doesn't matter at all right now. Clumsy work could cause an accident, and they can't. They can't work because the wreckage is in the way. That's where my drill crane and I come in. And with, a, with an awesome driller like me, this one's a heck of a tough job for just one guy. Tough. Real tough for just one guy. That's where you, my cute little Xiong, come into the picture. Answer my drill call. Am I right? Am I, I'm right, aren't I? You'll do it, won't you? Up my noble co coast, I guess. I'll give it a try, but I may not be able to fully appreciate drilling like you do. You'll take over my drill then? Okay, first I'll teach you how to operate the drill crane. Listen, Chrono Operating a drill is not about reflex or clever techniques, it's about heart and the soul within. Passion for your drill will allow you to operate the drill as you wish. Boy, it's really gone off the deep end. I'll show you how to operate the drill. Listen carefully. Uh, vertical movement, square, vertical, start moving vertically. Keep pressing the button, drill stop once it reaches the edge of the rail. Before moving the drill, you move the ca camera freely. You can also switch cameras. Moving the drill is a one shot deal, operate the buttons carefully. Then moving vertically, then you'll then move horizontally. Switch cameras. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a crane game. Simple. Got it. Why does the op the fucking crane operate like a crane game? They do a little like fucking celebration over there. Oh, 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 I missed. There it is. Ah, uh, that might miss. Or I'll just hit it dead on. Because I'm good at. Oh, fuck. Ah, goddammit. There we go. Easy. Looks like I finally got it done. Not too shabby, New Year. You had a passion for drilling, Shion. Never giving up, even when you miss. That's the most important quality in a driller. And well, thanks. Uh, everything drill passport. Well, something extra. Go ahead, it's yours. Make it. Okay. Email for Shion. Thank you for your recent subscription to Omega Bytes Store Database Services. Just to inform you that we have successfully secured a database domain for you to use. The service utilizes inspector function and portable connection gear to acquire specific information only and stores it regularly to our central server. The specified noses and keyword as categories for your save data. Uh, you will need to save the database plugin attached. Plugins or devices may attach. Data database plugin will automatically be saved when this email is sent. Database plugin will save data in the database I'll need. See notice this data following keyword data. Okay. The fact that you received email from the megabyte store must mean you will be able to use the UMN database in the near future. Very perceptive. By the way, uh, why did you select keyword gnosis as your databases? You have reasons, don't you? Reason? The thought of using keyword is because I can follow the keywords that come up in conversation in a database. That way I can always go back and check the detailed description later. Pretty familiar with most technical terms, but sometimes keywords that I don't know the definitions for appear. I see. Selected gnosis just in case. There is a possibility that I will have to fight them in the future, right? I agree probably won't be able to get by evading battles with gnosis. On top of that, you may be placed in a situation where you have to fight the same type of gnosis more than once. That's why I thought the best thing to do was to gather data on them. Is that gonna be a menu function then? Mail database. Okay, Antinosis Weapon System. Uh, name used to describe all weapon systems. Substantial, uh, substantially downscaled in size to better respond to the Gnosis sudden attacks, roughly equivalent in weight to a large automobile. Primary power source called the Transmit Generation there does not contain any fuel or energy conversion device. Energy is transmitted directly to these generators from the mothership or base station. Generator is not appropriate. Um, similarly, the propellants used by GWs are also continuous by mothership or base. Can in effect run indefinitely as long as they remain within the area of influence. Oh, his name is Ridgely? Uh, 24 years old. Uh, University of Bormio. <laughs> Although he's two years older than Shion, Alan is her junior by one year in the corporate hierarchy of Vector. So Shion is ol only 22 years old. Apparently he comes from a wealthy family, but does not share details of his background with anyone. He likes fishing. 
Android. I first recognized you was in Tomorrow's Eve by Via de Lil. Li. I don't know how. Lisle Adam. Via de Lisle Adam. I'm gonna say that's how you say it. Uh, to describe the artificial woman, Hadley. Tomorrow's Eve. I kinda wanna read that. I don't think I have. During the game, a character comments. It's hard to believe they're making an android in this day and age. However, he fails to recognize the fact that Reallians, whose biological structure is nearly identical to that of humans, can also be categorized as androids. That is like laser-focused answer to questions I had. In fact, this scene is a great illustration of Vector's technological prowess. In an age where simulated AI, which rely on the spontaneous growth of networks, have become the norm, Vector continues to pursue the elusive goal of creating completely man-made AI. Hmm. Cage partition. Data which forms the essence of Cosmos being stored within these sectioned areas of her main database. Moriyama. Moriyama? That's uh, one way to uh, uh, write my name in Japanese. Uh, Forest Mountain. Captain of the space cruiser Voglinde. Loyal to his mission, he's also quite generous and understands towards his subordinates who all trust him. 40 years old. And, and, and he was born in 4727, so it's 4767 now, I guess. Andrew Cherenkov. Commander in the Federation Marine Corps. Uh, second in command of the battlecruiser Vol Battlecruiser. I don't know if I called that before, but this is, this is indeed a battlecruiser. There's more to this man. The Messiai. Mass produced production target for the general consumer. This categorical distinction is often seen in firearms with the military. They're just. During the story, an operator comments, even in their com commercial uh, molds differ greatly between those that have seen action and those that haven't. What she means is that Vector must be trying to boost the appeal of the commercial model Cosmos to consumers by building its reputation as a mil military model first. Hmm. I see. PDA, often used by Shion and others. I find it interesting that the database is like, oh yeah, during scenes in the game, or during the game, like referring to the game. When activated, a holographic monitoring keyboard appear. Its capabilities can be further expanded via downloads of various plugins. Best thought of as an advanced version of a PC or a wireless phone. Counselor, you're just gonna, oh, okay, special, Specialized doctor responsible for maintaining the physical and mental health of realians. Standards for qualification in this field are higher than other medical professions. Therefore, it is one of the more challenging occupations. However, the unabated high demands for counselors has resulted in a proliferation of temporary maintenance stations for realians. Most counselors work in the companies with which manufacture realians. That makes sense. Direct approach. Process which entails disengaging the VR2000, the conduit that connects the perspectives of two individuals, and transferring one's consciousness directly into the encephalon of the other. I hope encephalon turns up in this dictionary. This act of directly entering another individual's realm of consciousness can inadvertently cause one to lose their own sense of self, also known as diving. Interesting. DME addiction. Tell me about that. Uh, she said Virgil might be DME addicted. An addiction which results from the consumption of realian body tissue. He eats them? The blood vessels carry the ingested tissue to the brain, mainly from the central nervous system, uh, which results in neural structural changes. The physical and mental states are then altered, but occasionally this results in death when an aller allergic reaction occurs. Once the brain has undergone an alteration, the addict must continue to consume new realian tissue to avoid withdrawal system symptoms, thus necessitating a drug-dependent intervention. There is, as of yet, no complete cure since the consumed realian tissue grows and mutates along with the host's neural networks. In some corners of the galaxy beyond the reaches of the Federation's control, there is an active black market for realian tissue as a new form of recreational narcotics. The external symptoms of this addiction includes hardening and cornification of the skin. They 
eat the fucking bio androids? A network protocol used to connect Cosmos perspective to that of the operator via the VR2000. Since Cosmos is a standalone unit and does not require external fees, this protocol is used only when Cosmos is shut down. Dummy protocol. Emergence codes. Secret codes use to control the reality's motions to the actions that result from them. Uh, these codes are easily executable via connection gear, however, due to the power they exert over reality's whose basic human rights are legally recognized, the use of these codes is limited to emergency only situations. Only members of Vector's third R&D division and a limited number of other employees know of their existence. So, they are recognized as human beings. Except when they're not. Interesting. Encephalon, the word for brain in the Greek uh, language. Thank you. The in-game reference is to the simulated environment built inside Cosmos main network. Okay. Simple and simple. Ether, short for a special theory of rudimentary. What? A special theory of rudimentary. Generic term to denote various types of special powers. It encompasses everything from paranormal abilities uh, to medical treatments using nanomachines, as well as uh, ability to control spatial dimensions using transference technology. Sorry, sorry, sorry but nanomachines, son. Uh, the ether skills used by Xion Cosmos, Ziggy, and Momo. The fucker Ziggy and Momo, did I spoil myself? Can be categorized into two types, those using applied transference technology or special skills which use nanomachines. In real life, ether is a hypothetical medium with special light conductive characteristics which is believed to fill air and space. I love that they just go, oh yeah, in real life, you know, not this game world, let, let, let us teach you something about the real world, jackass. Gay jump, the act of entering hyperspace, the process involves transitioning from normal space into warp space, also known as warp in. And gate out, the act of exiting hyperspace. Warp out. So warp, but not really. The GFG, the Gal Galaxy Federation government, an interplanetary republic comprised of approximately half a million planets. Each planetary system maintains autonomous rule within the framework of Federation law. Its planetary capital is 5th Jerusalem. There's five of them now? Interconnection, mutual interconnection. The in-game reference is to the act of establishing a non-local connection using the VR2000. This method frees data transference from the limitation of physics, allowing an instantaneous exchange of data across distances millions of light years apart? How? It utilizes the EPR paradox, which constitutes the heart of the UMN. The EPR paradox? Hmm. Kindling! I play Dark Souls. When bursts of electrical charges occur repeatedly in the brain and neural impulses pass through the limbic system repeatedly, repetitively, the result is a permanent acceleration of certain neural connections or the opening of entirely new neural paths. Kindling is any process that permanently alters the inner emotional state of being of the host. Cosmos, an armored female android developed by the interstellar conglomerate Vector Ind Industries. Uh, comprised entirely of mechanical parts, a rarity in the age of advanced reality and technology. The basic tenet to which she adheres to is based on logic, probability, and completion of her mission above all else. She also unconditionally protects she on her creator. Uh, she is equipped with a simul simulated personality OS to aid in communication. And though her speech conveys her role as an android in service to humans, her tendency to put logic and probability first makes her quite difficult to manage at times. The name Cosmos is a general acronym to denote an antinosis tactical system. It stands for Cosmos Obey Strategy. Um, Cosmos Obey Strategic Multiple Operation System. Is it a recursive acronym? Does the Cosmos in Cosmos Obey Strategic Multiple Operation Systems stand for Cosmos Obey Strategic Multiple Operation Systems? GNU, uh, GNU is not Unix. Cosmos main equipment from 2nd Division. Uh, equipment Cosmos would have when ready for deployment. Since the military brass was getting impatient with the slow, play, pff, slow pace of development, Alan thought to stave off their worries by handling Xion a list 
of equipment with second division provided. Lake Turkana. Uh, that was in Kenya. Lake located at the northern tip of Kenya, which covers an area of 7,000 square kilometers. Uh, its maximum depth is 73 meters. That doesn't sound very deep. Many ancient hominid fossils discoveries were made at this site, also known as Lake Rudolph. Okay, but can you, um, fuck. Milsha, the planet where the war that came to be known as the Milsha conflict took place. Milsha is also Sheen's birthplace, so it's the planet she's from. Milsha Charter, a body of federation laws ex enacted after the Milsha conflict. What kind of conflict was that, I wonder? Miyuki. 20 years old, systems programmer at Vector First R&D Division. She's a younger colleague of Shion's, quite a mechanical otaku. They use the word otaku. Uh, she submits patent applications as a hobby and constantly creates new inventions using Shion and the others as guinea pigs. As her supervisor, Shion is plagued by her constant uh, expense authorization requests. Her full name is Miyuki Itsumi. Uh, and in a way, she is a woman very true to her ambitions. Empty field. The empty field of the temporal lobe. Damage to this area of the brain results in a condition called motion blindness, in which the eyes can see but cannot track the continuous motion of an object, such as a person who is running or a moving car. Said objects in motion appear as a series of flash photography images. It is said that to individuals with this condition, a normal conversation is perceived as a teleconference call with very slow transmission speeds. That's, that sounds like torture. Multiple weapon system, a portable multifunctions weapon storage unit designed and built by Shion's younger colleague Miyuki. Contained within the unit are various types of weapons including fighting knuckles, laser, taser rods, anti-gnosis beam launchers, also has a built-in shield that utilizes spatial phase shifting thus providing a high level of defensive ability in addition to the offensive capability. The unit also contains a makeshift logic drive, which, uh, which not only counterbalances but also enhances physical attacks. Thus, even the weakest individuals can go head to head with an armored tactical weapon, in theory. Yeah, in theory. Nataraja. An avatar of Shiva, represented as a dancing figure with many arms. It is of particular interest that this system is named after Shiva, who is also the god of creation and destruction. The system itself was designed by Kevin. Did Kevin die? Did Cosmos kill Kevin or something? Because they were like gonna wake her up and she's not woken up and Kevin is nowhere to be seen. Penfield mapping. A map of the brain which shows the distinct functional regions of the cerebral cortex. The in-game reference to the digitized procedure which links Xion's cerebral regions to their respective regions in Cosmos. Porta. I, I played uh, Death Stranding, I know what this is. The UMN acts as a recording medium, holding every incident and every phenomenon in this world as permanent records. Cool. Porters are agent-like AIs that exist in order to manage and preserve those records. Porters owned by the government-run UMN management agency uh, usually manage an individual's information, whereas corporations usually have their own proprietary porters manage their company records. Power loader, a humanoid machine used to carry heavy loads, yep, uh, inside the Vulcan data. Standard issue labor machinery uh, used throughout the Federation. Some of them are quick with a flamethrower on the right arm. That doesn't sound like standard for moving vehicles. A procurator, an agent like AI which extracts services from the UMN as requested by the user. A procurator, procurator is essential in order to navigate through the UMN's UMN's vast information network and imagines most of the routine work related to the UMN in place of the user. For example, the task of sending and receiving mail is overseen by one type of AI called the mail porter. By having the procurator act as a go-between for the user and the mail porter, uh, the user can send and receive email simulator to the porter. Environmental simulator database procurator instructs the procurator complex operation smaller procurator. Oh, God damn it! Vector's line of connection gear, the Ryo series, also contain a procurator named Angie. Incidentally, Shion has replaced this procurator with another which she created, Bunny. She made that thing. Please, please, please. An artificial human. A realion. 
A wonder of molecular bioengineering, its biological composition comes in various forms based on need from carbon-based duplicates of real humans to those based on silicon or liquid metal? Wow, uh, many of the realians on board the Voglinde were made by the Victor and they are hybrid models with a carbon-silicon base. Can you... can you do that? Can you have an or organism that's both? Uh, many of the realians on board the Voglinde were made by... Uh, oh yeah, I read that. Since the Milchian conflict, the alteration of a realian's emotions is no longer allowed. So they were allowed before. The only exceptions are for realians in the military or other dangerous occupations such as terraforming. Huh. Their basic rights equal those of humans and are recognized by law. However, due to the fact that their minds are initialized with a slight bias, all realians tend to display similar personality traits. This bias is applied not only for the purpose of preventing criminal behavior by realians, but also in consideration of humans who may feel threatened by their superiority albeit only in certain specialized skills. So, so they're, they're, they're autistic. You've created artificial autists. <laughs> Specialization in certain skills, superiority, uh, similar personality traits. Uh, I'm mostly joking, but kind of not also. Several companies manufacture realians, but Vector makes this, uh, the basic program, in other words, the central nervous system of all realians. This program is essentially a black box, and any modification beyond regular maintenance and adjustments can only be performed by Vector. Hmm, interesting. Real mode, the procedure where data on the nose is incorporated into a combat simulation. Okay. Second Milsha, a planetary capital of the current Milshan Autonomous State Government. The planet is 13,200 kilometers in diameter. Let me just remind myself. Earth. Uh, d -d 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 diameter. Okay, so it's slightly larger than Earth. Uh, gravity ratio of 1.03 yes, checks out. Only recently terraformed, so it still has an abundance of forests. Uh, the atmosphere... Atmosphere generating nanomachines within the ocean are still active, causing the planet to appear slightly light green from space. So they, like, put nanomachines that do pho photosynthesis to create air? That is very interesting. Shion Uzuki, 22 years old, assigned to Vector's, Vector Industries, first R&D division at the age of 18 in TC. What's TC? What's the T, I wonder? Then again, what's the C also? But like, when do we start counting time? Her official title is Chief Engineer of the Cosmos Project General Operations System Research Center, Vector Industries' first R&D division. Although two years younger than Alan, Shion is a year his senior in the corporate hierarchy of Vector. Uh, although she appears clumsy at times, she's actually quite athletic. Hmm. In particular, her high kicks are powerful enough to render a grown man unconscious. I mean, that's the kind of woman I like. She apparently also wields a jujitsu-like technique passed down from her grandfather, but unfortunately his skill does not appear in this episode. Wait, this skill does not appear in this episode. Are they, like, teasing future skills? That's That's interesting. Target drone, a drone used as a target in battle simulations, I see. Togashi, uh, 22 years old, younger colleague of Alan. Togashi joined Victor's first R&D division right after the incident in which Cosmos went out of control. There we go. He finds great satisfaction in giving his mentor Alan a hard time. His hobby is judo. And he's in love with Miyuki, maybe. So Cosmos did go out of control. I'm gonna put money on her fucking murdering Kevin, or whatever his name was. Type G target drone. Drones used as targets during simulated battles, they differ from ordinary ones in that they are programmed to emulate gnosis. UMN, short for Unus Mundus Network, an informational uh, network that spans the entire universe. Its non-locality is a large factor in its use in space warps and FTL communications. The term Unus Mundus, literally one word, world, I told you, was used by psychiatrist C 
Oh, uh, Carl Jung, to uh, describe a state beyond this world where every contradiction in physics like synchronicity and the EPR paradox can be explained. Interesting. So the EPR paradox, is that like a real life thing? So if I put that into Google, EPR paradox. The einstein podolsky rosen paradox. Thought experiment proposed by Einstein, these dudes. Uh, quantum mechanics was incomplete. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I might read up more on that later. Uh, a place where every relationship, such as that of the mind to mind or mind to matter, can also make sense. I see. V4 field. One of the visual fields of the brain. The human brain is said to contain 30 or more of these visual fields. Damage to both sides of the V4 visual field will result in complete color blindness. Hmm. Vector first or indeed division, referred to as first division among vector employees. Its origins date back to a joint venture by the government and private sector manager UMN. Although it uh, now functions as a department within a corporation, it's retained its original title of division. After, re re after relegating the management of the UMN to the government, the division's primary function has been the development of various computer chips and supporting software for industrial supercomputer AIs. The Cosmos R&D project, to which Xion and her team are assigned to, sought to develop an emotively controlled OS. Okay, so Vector is a corporation that is government funded and owned, I guess. Vector is the largest business conglomerate in the Federation and an integral part of modern civilization. It is involved in the production and distribution of almost every product from food and medicine, software and hardware to communication and weapons. Mmm, that's a little scary. There's multitude of divisions, of which the core components of the first, second, and third R&D divisions. Vector Industries has a very long history and its uh, presence dates back to the initial formation of the Federation. Second, uh, duties include the development and production of Federation fleet vessels and AGWS. One of the three core its sole purpose is to oversee the development, production, training, and distribution of realians. Though her motives were known to others, Xion apparently requ requested a, si a reassignment to this division. Uh, weapons grade realian. Realian is specifically modified for combat. Senses and physical abilities are better developed than those of regular realians. They are also designed to operate for long periods of time in the battlefield. Their emotions have been modified so that fear and other feelings detrimental to combat will not surface. Other realians in general are designed not to feel fear. There are occasional anomalies. Uh, although realians' weapons appear similar to those used by humans, the caliber of their weaponry is comparable to that of tank-mounted gun, and they fire reinforced ammunition. Hmm. Voglinde. Built by Vector Industries and loaned to the Federation Marine Corps, uh, it was the first battleship specifically built to combat Gnosis. Although Vector hastily added a bridge and a bare-bones propulsion system to make it operable on the test flight, the ship remains 80% incomplete. Due to its status as a test prototype, the Vector logo can be seen in place of the usual Federation Marine Corps insignia. Huh, interesting. The ship consists of a unique bi-level design which enables it to split into an upper and lower section. The upper section houses a bridge. The lower section is not actually a part of the vessel's body. It was created with recycled material to temporarily house the new logic drive during its test flight. And it's, it is 1000 meters long. Yes, Virgil. 32 years old. Uh, first Lieutenant of the Galaxy Federation Marine Corps and a brilliant AGWS pilot. He's afflicted with DME addiction, which is caused by the consumption of realian body tissue, as evidenced by the condition of his facial skin. Uh, 400 level of the program. Part of the b program used to measure Cosmos combat abilities. Uh, I might do some reading later. I see. Uh, I might do some more reading later uh, when we unlock more stuff. I do enjoy world building and stuff. Plugin module. Okay, 